Hey guys, welcome back. So today is Friday and I have a lot to talk about this week. So tomorrow is my birthday and I have done a little bit a little bit of birthday shopping prior to my birthday kind of because we are going to go out of town for the next three weeks. I'm going to be going on vacation. So no worries, I will still be around. You won't even know that I am actually gone because I'm still going to be uploading regularly. This is going to be my last Friday Loves that I film in this location. I am still going to film my Friday Loves when I'm home. Um, <laughs> I will not be editing them more than likely because I might not have time. My parents' computer and internet's kind of slow and last time I attempted to do that my voice was off from the picture and you can't edit when your voice, you know, is it's chasing the picture. <laughs> that would be a hot mess. So. It's just going to be a fly by the seat of my pants type of Friday loves for the next three weeks. So I hope that is kosher with you guys. Um, it don't bother me at all. It's okay. I don't, I don't really have to edit that much anyways. I just kind of say what I want to say and just keep the ball rolling. So this week, I like I just mentioned, I did a little birthday shopping. So this week's Friday loves, I'm going to start off by talking about my favorites. And then the latter portion of this video is going to be my birthday haul. So if you are not interested in the... Friday favorites portion you can fast forward to the haul or vice versa whatever it is you want to do I love watching hauls and I love Friday favorites so I think this video is going to be the best of both worlds in my opinion so let's just jump right on in first on my nails I have been wearing this since what is today today is actually Wednesday I've been wearing this since Saturday so Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Five days I have been wearing this nail polish and I'm not sure if it's this nail polish or if it's my new top coat that I just picked up from Sally Hansen, but it's looking pretty good. Uh, if I did a close-up, you would see these fingers are chipped pretty severely. Um, however, the color is beautiful. It's um, SC Bikini So Bikini so Teeny. It's a beautiful baby blue with the very smallest, minute, micro glittery type pieces, but you know what? It's so small and so minute. I don't even see it on my fingernails. Well, ever, ever, ever so slightly. You would need a magnifying glass to see it. However, I just think it's a very complimentary color, like to tan skin, to fair skin. It's just really, really pretty. Love this color, and this was a newer find for me this summer. Second favorite, hardcore. If you saw Wednesday's video, if not, I will link it below. Um, five things I can't put down. This was in it. I can't put this foundation down. I am so shocked. This is a product that I was so, I don't want that. It's for dry, it's for like oily people. It's a matte finish. I'm wearing it today. I can't stop wearing. However, I found my favorite way to apply it and it's with a damp beauty blender. And the reason I like it is because it really blurs out the imperfections. I get a very flawless coverage, but almost like a little bit more luminosity to my skin because I'm shearing it out with the beauty blender versus using a brush. I love this foundation. Guys, if you have not tried this, I at this point, I'm a normal skinned girl in a drier climate. I would say, if even if you are dry skinned, try this. I don't think you'll be disappointed. It's, it's very lovely. It comes in quite a few different shades. I'm in shade 845, which is what? Warm beige. It's a primer. Let's see. Lasting Power Ever Primer, which I wear a primer anyways. I would, I'm just a primer girl. Um, coverage of a concealer and blendability of a foundation in one, shine free. It's actually a very uh, thin foundation, which I was surprised. I thought it was going to be thicker. I love it. Can't say enough about it. Can't stop using it. End of story. I look flawless. And anything that's going to make me look flawless, because truly today, I was actually before I even put my foundation on, I had used the Mario Badescu Dry and Lotion, which I was going to haul, but now I'm just telling you, I just bought that stuff. I left it in my bathroom, so I. I won't have it to show you, but it's the Mario Badescu drying lotion, and you're supposed to put on your zits, and it's supposed to dry them up and make you zit-free. Well, I woke up this morning with a whole colony of zits on my face, and so I was, for the first six hours of um, my eyes being open this morning, I put that stuff on, trying to, like, save my face before filming. Anyways, long story short, this covered up my zits, and the, I don't know, I just look flawless, and I'm really, truly not especially today. Anyways, okay, let's move on. The next things that I want to talk about are like my three cheek products that I cannot stop using. I don't know if it's because I'm tan, which is fake, because underneath this fake tan I'm actually really pale, or what, but I've had these things, and I dug them all because I feel like it's summer, it's just the time of year for them, and 
Woofta. Guys, these are fabulous. First is the blush I am wearing. NYX Terracotta. Holy cow, this is amazing. I posted a picture on Instagram last week, like last Sunday. I wore this blush to church with this highlighter. It's amazing. You want to get your glow on. This is going to help you get your glow on. Um, it's just a beautiful... Uh, I don't know how to describe this. It does definitely give you a sheen, though. Um, see that there? Look at that blush. This is like a dupe for the NARS Luster blush. And I really like these blushes. These NYX blushes are fabulous. They're pigmented. They come in a whole heck of a lot of shades, which is fabulous because you can't get bored because there's always a new one to try. And then the highlighter I've been pairing with it and with this other blush that I'm going to show you in a second is this Fusion Soft Lights Baked Starburst. Now, this is a little tiny one. They do have full size. This one is uh, 3.5 grams or 0.12 ounces. Not that you care, but you can see it's just a tiny one. But you know, when you have a lot of highlighters, you don't need like a large size of every one unless you find one that you love and then you need to buy it in full size. This is beautiful. This is like the perfect pairing. It has a, it almost, it looks like it's going to come out brown, doesn't it? But when you swatch it, it's more champagne-y. It's like a beige champagne. And paired with this blush, as you can see, that's what I have going on today. Love. Absolutely love. And then the other blush that I was wearing this week and I wore on last Sunday, and then I actually wore it to church the Sunday before that, is this blush and this is the covergirl cheekers blush in soft sable now i had first heard about this blush from mallory 1712 um i gotta be honest i'm not a huge covergirl fan but between this foundation and this blush i'm i'm a fan of these two items that is for sure i love this blush it oh, it's so pretty it definitely has a little bit of a sheen to it but do you see that it's kind of like a rosy beigey color i don't know but it has a really pretty glow to it i think that's why i'm loving all these products because it's summertime and you have a little bit of a tan then you add these glowy things and it just makes your face pop and i just i love them i love all three of these it's been my combo i've been going back and forth and using them in different combinations and loving them for eyes i have one thing and i rotate my eyeshadows all the time so today i'm actually wearing an old school palette let me just show you just in case, this was the very first high-end palette I ever bought. Okay, so this was in 2009. It was the first time I had just gotten married. We had just moved to New Jersey, and I went to Sephora for the second time in my life. The first time I went, I was completely overwhelmed and walked out with a dark red lip gloss, which I wore once that night. Not even kidding you. I recently just tossed it because I'm like, it was beautiful, but I didn't know what I was doing. Like, seriously, out of all the things I could have bought, I bought the one thing you hardly wear ever. Anyway, so then my second time in there in 2009, I bought this palette. Uh, this is the Smashbox I Wish palette. It's what I'm wearing on my eyes today. It's old. This is, it used to head up a booklet and it's messy. It's been highly loved. It came with like a little primer, but essentially, if any of you guys remember this or have this, let me know because I think that would be fun. Um, anyways, I'm just wearing some, uh, these two colors and then just a couple neutral colors here. So I pulled this out and anyways, all that to tell you, I've been using this brush from Real Techniques and I love it. The domed shadow brush. It's just a really soft, very thick, fluffy brush. But I've been using it for literally everything. Like I, one day I used it for, for my brow bone. The next day I used it for my outer V work. Another day I just lightly tapped some shadow all over my lid. Just like a, I used a, like a soft pink shade just to kind of go all over everything as a base. And I don't know, I love this brush. It's great. I cannot remember if this came in a kit or if I bought it individually. Either way, it's worth it. I love the Real Techniques brushes. And I would definitely recommend checking those out if you have not yet done so. Alright, and I'm sorry if I'm flying through these favorites, but like I said, I have a lot of things to haul, and I just, I didn't have a lot of favorites this week, but the things I have, I really, really like. Okay, so the last thing I have is my lip combination that I'm wearing today, and I've been, I was on a pink kick for July, and now I'm on a nude kick. I'm like on the, the journey, which it is a journey, to find my favorite nude, like, you know that nude tag that went around like a favorite nude lip combo? I never did it because I'm like, well, I have a lot of different nude lipsticks, but I don't know what my favorite one is yet, like what my favorite combo is. But for this week, I have been loving Max Spice. I love this lip liner. I would re definitely recommend this lip liner to you. 
It's more of a darker nude, but it has, for me, because my lips are very pigmented, they're very red, I have dark features, this is a very good liner for me. It's like a brownish, mauve nude. Another lip liner you might enjoy if you have lighter, lighter lips or lighter features is MAC Subculture. I just have very naturally pigmented lips, so a darker liner like this works better for me as a nude, but I've been putting that all over my lips. So line them, fill them in, done. Ooh, before I do that, I, I, I grab this. Um, sorry, cut that combo in half for just a second. This Too Faced Lip Insurance, I wore this with a bright lip to church last, this past Sunday. And it's a lip primer and it helps prevent feathering and it keeps your lipstick in place. Yeah, it really worked. I thought this was fabulous. I'm like, why have I not been using this? I've owned this for a while. It's This is just a little sample one that came in some sort of kit that I got with something, but it's just clear. You put it all over your lips. Just try it. Just try it. I just think that it was it was fabulous. It also like smoothed my lips so that it created like a very soft. They felt really soft and supple. I don't know what it, how to explain it, but it just smoothed them all, filled in the lines, kind of like a primer for your face does or a primer for your eyes does. That's what this did, and I loved it, and so I would recommend trying that. All right. Sorry. I got out of order. So I've been using that. Then I've been lining my lips with that. And finally, this is the lipstick I've been wearing. I literally have had this in my collection since probably a year now. And I think I've worn it twice. So I just, I decided to flip all my lipsticks over my MAC ones so I can actually read them because I've been neglecting them. Because when they sit like this, they all look the same and you don't know what color it is, then you have to pull them out. So I turned them upside down and then I realized, phew, I forgot I even own this. It's a lipstick glaze by MAC. The shade is Hue. It's just a very subtle, very nude color, but if you throw it over, you see that? It's very subtle, but if you throw it over the lip liner, which is what I have on today, it just moistens the lip liner and it just, I don't know, it's a very natural color, but it's a luster, so it has a little bit of a sheen to it, which is really pretty because I've been going with the whole sheen thing. So, those are all my favorites, guys. Um, now let's get into the okay. haul portion. So like I had already told you guys, this is going to be a long one. And then I realized I looked at all my stuff and I'm like, ooh, this is going to be a movie haul. So I hope you guys have um, something to drink, something to snack on because I'm going to be your entertainment for the next half an hour. <laughs> I didn't realize I'd done so much stuff and I was going to break this into two. But now I'm going out of town and I literally have no more days to do this because the, the rest of my week is consumed with packing and cleaning and prepping and this is it guys anyways i'm gonna stop rambling because i'm making this longer than it needs to be um julep i got my julep monthly box so let's see what's in here first of all i love the packaging it's like all sparkly and stuff i don't know if you can see the sparkly paper but the first two polishes i have here i had um ordered they had a sale so i picked up two nail polishes the first one is called ramona and this is a cream formula I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick this up, but this is the softest, most babyest, babyest shade of lilac you will ever see with just a hint of pink. I'm just really into those neutral colors, like I said. I'm just, I don't know, I'm just feeling the neutrals. And then the other color I got, which I thought would be just a classy color, it's called Donna. And it would look great with jeans. And I am a blue jean, jean and sweater type of girl, and I just, I don't know. I like to accessorize a lot with accessories in the winter and fall and chunky sweaters and pretty nails. So I thought that was a pretty color. All right, now let's see what we got in here. Um, every month they always give you like codes, like $10 off your order. And then um, save 30% on any eyeliner coupon. And then what is this? A screen cleaner. Hmm. Wait, I don't know what this is. An app. Something from, I don't have an iPhone, I, it doesn't matter. Okay, so here's what the packaging, it's purple this month. They always have cute little confetti in there, and I like purple. First color I got, oh my gosh, that is fabulous. What color is this? Avni, A-V-N-I. That is fun. Holy cow, I love it, love it. It's like a purpley, bright purple iridescent shade. Wow, that's fabulous, <laughs> love it. The next one I got here is, ooh, equally as beautiful. It's called Joyce. This is a, looks like a ruby, like a really pretty red. Oh, classy, that would look good with what I got going on today. Has a little bit of glitter in it. That's awesome, and what's the last one? Ooh, 
another very fun purple color. I like purple nail polish. Um, this one's called Katie. Check that out. That is beautiful. It's like an iridescent purpley pink color. So I love all my colors this month. If you guys are interested, I have the code down below. You know the spiel. Anyway, so that was my my um, julep box. All right, and now on to the shopping portion. Okay, so what do we want to start with? First off, I'll start with what's in front of me here. Um, like I said, I told you I'm going on vacation, and so I needed a fresh bottle of all of my hair products because I didn't want to bring like a quarter bottle and then run out and have to buy it anyway. So I was thinking ahead. The first thing I got was the Kenra Super Hold Finishing Spray 25. One of my subscribers, I can't remember... I would have to look and see. I'll write it right here. Anyways, she had said, I've, I've used this for many years, honestly, and I went and changed it up to the Big Sexy Hair. And I'm currently using the Soft Hold one, which I really like. But if I'm going to be doing things when I go home, like going on date nights and being gone all day, I wanted something that was going to be a, a stronger hold, something that's going to hold my curl. So I picked up the Kenra 25. I don't know if you can see that. And then this was sitting next to this, so I decided to try this. And I heard... um. Little Lady Lowry, Stephanie, talk about this. This is the L'Oreal Boost It High Lift Creation Spray Instant Lift and Fullness um, Back Combing Finisher number three. That's what I needed. I needed something for when I want to get some uh, lift at my crown here. My powder, you know, that powder stuff you spray and you, it makes your hair all funky, but you can literally make it stick, stand straight up. That's what this is for, like giving you that volume. And I typically do that. I just didn't do that today. And then I needed a dry shampoo, and the one I love, don't ask me why I didn't repurchase it. I know why, because I don't want to pay the price for the moment. Um, the one I love is the Big Sexy Hair Volumizing one. It truly works, and it gives you some serious volume. But I opted to try this one because it was only $3.99. It's the Herbal Essences Naked. It has no colorant, no parabens. It's like no scent, just completely like just, I like the no scent part because I don't want my hairspray to compete with my perfume. So I picked that up. All right, and then um, while I was out and about at the department store here on base, I went to get all these hair things, and then I decided to pick up a Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. It's like this really teeny tiny little mascara, and Ashley loves it, and I always used the Maybelline one, but I'm going to give this a go and see if I like it as much, and I got mine in black, of course, because I wouldn't get it in any other shade. I don't even mess around with like light brown or light black mascara. No, give me straight up black. Um, and then the lady that works for um, Estee Lauder was there and I was chit-chatting with her and we were trying on lipsticks, you know, having a fun time like I always do. Every time I go somewhere, I always end up striking up some sort of conversation with some random person. They probably think I'm weird. I'm just chatty and I just like to, I don't know, I just like to get to know people when I'm out and about. It makes my whole outing so much more fun, you know, like and if you can make someone smile and you know, have a good time. Well, why not? That's what life's about. I don't like to like just walk around and not say hi to even strangers because I mean, gotta be friendly. Anyways, long introduction. I decided to pick up the Double Wear Stay In Place Flawless Wear Concealer. I'm always on the hunt for some sort of concealer that literally will cover up my zits because like I said, I had a quality move in today and I should have used this today, but I didn't. I was using up some other stuff. I got mine in the shade medium because I'm going to be using it on my face looks a little dark but it's not I promise you um this is supposed to be like a really full coverage concealer I'm not sure if it's meant for under your eyes or not I think you can it says last 15 hours feels lightweight never dry so we're gonna test this out so I'm pretty excited about that one and let's see what else I have oh my gosh so many things to show you guys here um, the next thing was I had placed an order for this literally six weeks ago and it took that long to get here. In fact, I even called the company and said, I placed my order six weeks ago, where is my product? And they're like, oh, it never got shipped. Oh, bummer. <laughs> so I finally got it. It's the Anastasia Lavish Palette. <sighs> I watched Tierney here on YouTube, Tierney Staples, and I know I've talked about her in the past and... She just does fabulous work, and she said she absolutely loves this palette. And I had passed it up at Christmas time because it came with a bunch of other things that I really wasn't interested in. So now you can go and just purchase this on the website. And these colors just say Chelsea. They say fall. They say buy me. So I did. And I have used it already, and I'm telling you, the colors blend so well. They're beautiful shades, and I know I probably should be showing you the new Amrezi palette, but... 
I don't know. I'm just glad I picked this one up because I feel like these are colors I most definitely will use. And if I want to follow in a, any of her tutorials, which I do, I need to have this. Because I, I don't know about you, but when I follow a tutorial, I like to follow it exactly using what they have. And if I, I know you can substitute, but I don't know. I'm just weird like that. All right, so next, let's talk about this. I have some really good stories, so stay tuned. <laughs> don't run away. Um, I bought, went to Lush. Actually, I went to Lush in the store with a subscriber, but the rest of this I placed an order online for in June before my husband got home. So I forgot to tell you this is not just birthday. This is collective too. I had bought this stuff before my husband came home because I wanted to have some really nice bath products for him to use since he had been, you know, not using anything fun. <laughs> the first thing I got was this rub, rub, rub shower scrub. Um, Ashley said she loved this and I'm pretty new. Oh, I don't even think I can open this. Why can't I open this? I'm not going to try and embarrass myself here. Um, you would think with these guns I could open something. Um, she said she really liked this stuff and I'm new to, um, Lush. So I really wanted to, you know, consult some of my friends. What do I need? So I got that. And the second thing I got, which was exclusive to the website, is this Lush Lime Smoothie. It's a shower smoothie. Um, it has lime juice, sea salt, strawberries, almond, and olive oil. So this is just a scrub, right? Yeah, just a scrub. And it's summertime, and if you like need to exfoliate because you're self-tan or you don't and you just have dry skin or you're just like scaly, like dry skin because you live in a dry climate, this is something good to have. So I'm excited to try that. And I haven't used any of these things because I've been savoring them for you guys. So... And then, of course, I had to get bath bombs because I feel like if you go to Lush, you need to walk out with a bath bomb of some sort. So I got this one called Sex Bomb. Oh, it smells amazing, and it's really, really pretty, and, and oh, great. And this one I call, got is called Bon Bomb. I think this one was kind of lemony, which my favorite pie of life is lemon meringue pie. Not that that matters to you, but... I like things that smell like food. <laughs> so I like to bathe myself in things that smell like food. And then I got um, the, oh boy, this got wet. Pink, pink, pink mind? What? I don't know. It's pink. And it's got flowers on it. It was cute. So I got that one. And then the last one I got is this blackberry one. Oh, smells amazing. And it's pretty, once again. And then the two, I got two scrubby bars here. I got this one called Buffy. Small Buffy, actually. It's like a bar that has, like, these scrubby things on it. So I thought that would be nice to, like, scrub up your dry areas. And then I got this massage bar called Bewitched. And now that I've had these all together, they kind of all smell the same. But I thought this would be kind of nice, too. Like, little massage bar. Anyways... And then the last thing that I got is this Ultra Bland Facial Cleanser. I bought this because I was in the store and I had just come from Sephora, which I will get to that story next. Um, and so I needed to take off my, the swatches off my hand. And I used this stuff and it took it off like that. And so I'm like, I need a new makeup remover because most eye makeup removers like mess with my eyes and they make them burn. Or, um, I don't know, I just haven't found one that I'm absolutely in love with that I feel like doesn't work as well as, like, my Purity. Like, I use Purity Cleanser. It takes everything off. So I thought I would try this. It was very, very moisturizing, and that's what I liked about it. Like, I washed my hands, and they still felt moisturized. They weren't dry or stiff or, you know, icky from the cleanser or your makeup remover stripping them. So that is all the things that I'm I got saving. I said I was going to get to my Sephora story next, but I'm actually going to save that for last because it is the best. Um, I received, you know, you get the coupon in the mail if you're part of DSW's rewards thing. So you spend X amount of dollars and they give you a coupon. Or for your birthday, they give you, what is it, 5 or $10 off. So, of course, mommy had to order some shoes. And like I have said, I am prepping for um, fall here. And so I, first pair of shoes I picked up, and these are still available on the website, are these. They're like, I don't know. I didn't have any, like, what are these called? Shooties or booties or something? I didn't have anything like this. Um, I love boots. I am a boot girl. Like you ask me high heels or flats, I'll tell you boots. Um, I love boots and I think it's because when you grow up in a cold climate, like high heels you wear for a very short amount of time 
as well flats because when it snows like you're gonna get snow all up in your shoes so you need boots and that's I guess why I'm just a boot girl so I love these I think these are super cute great to wear with like a skirt or with leggings or with skinny jeans and so what are these called these are by sorry I forgot to tell you guess these are guess I can't remember the name because of course I threw away the box um, but these are what they look like. I got them off of DSW and they're super And the second cute. pair I got here are a little bit more dressy. And these are by Adrian Vittadini. And these are like a camel colored, uh, I don't know, kind of like a dress boot. I, I would think they're a little bit dressier. I got them to wear with like sh dresses or, gosh, I would even wear these with capris. Like if you want to dress up a pair of capris, you're going out for dinner. If you're going out shopping with the girls and you're not going to be on your feet too long. However, these were both very comfortable. I mean, I haven't like worn them out about because I just got them. But I don't know. I thought these were really cute and definitely different from anything that I own. And that was okay. exactly what I was going the for. The next um, thing that I did was I placed a Vitacost order and I repurchased things I always buy. So if you want to know what I always buy from Vitacost, here is a few things I always buy. Um... My favorite scrub, this is the Alba Botanica Hawaiian Body Scrub. Sea salt, it leaves, it has legit like giant chunks of sea salt in it. And it leaves your skin so moisturized after you use it. And that is why I love it. Because I feel like I don't need to put lotion on. Because my skin literally has like oils to moisturize it. So I love it. it smells fabulous for summer. It's like this sea salt invigorating type smell. Like lime and like, I don't know, citrus. It's delicious. And then I always, these are the vitamins I take every single day. They are the new chapter, one daily, because I don't want to have to remember to take a vitamin more than once. Um, and these ones say whole food complex multivitamin for stress, immune, and bone health. And here's the kicker, you can take it on an empty stomach, which I love, because sometimes, you know, you don't have time, or you remember later in the day, and then you're like, oh crap, I didn't eat, and I don't want to feel nauseous, because you can't take certain vitamins and on an empty stomach or you will get nauseous because I know that happens to me and then you know what happens after that. Anyways, these also have a probiotic in them and so that's like two for one deal for me and I love these. Anyways, take them every day. And now these are my Holy Grail facial wipes. Holy Grail. Um, I've tried a lot. They are the Giovanni ones from Vitacost. They're fragrance free. They're super moisturizing. They're wet from the first one to the last one. They're a bigger towelette. Um, they're soft. What else can I tell you? It says aloe and echinacea calm skin gentle cleansing for sensitive skin. I love these. I love these. In fact, I probably should have ordered two more, but um, they're very inexpensive. How much were these? Let me just tell you here on my piece of paper. Five dollars. Five dollars for 30. And I mean, I don't use these every single night. I actually like to use these even in here, like for tutorials and stuff. But these are fabulous. I love these and would definitely recommend if you have sensitive skin. And I tried a lot of them at the drugstore or, or even the higher end ones. And I just, I just don't like them or they burned or they just smelled funky. And I don't need a towelette to smell. I really don't. Because, I mean, my moisturizer probably smells. My facial cleanser probably smells. And we don't need 15 smells just to get our face clean, do we? So, anyways, and now we are on to the very last thing. Okay, so I had the opportunity to meet one of my subscribers. Her name is Amy. And we went to the VIB Rouge event together. And it was fabulous. It was such a blessing to meet her. She is so sweet. So awesome, beautiful, chatty. We had a fabulous time. So we went to the event and they gave you one of these big old bags. And um, part of the thing of going there was that you got a bag of samples with any $35 purchase. So um, I got a bag of all these different samples and then there was a couple people walking around. I got a, a living proof Prime Style Extender Spray. I think I've used this before. I do have their um, Perfect Hair Day stuff and I love that. And then they threw in a Clarisonic Deep Pore Daily Cleanser and Mask. And I, yeah, and then some samples which we're not going to get into. Okay, so the first thing I did was we got the, not we, she told me I needed to get the Shiseido Facial Cottons. And I've seen these a million and a half times in YouTube and I've never actually seen them in a store. But the particular store we went to um, had these, and she's like, if you need to get those, you need to try them. So they're, they're these really soft facial cotton things, and I've never tried them. I've never used such luxurious cotton in my life. I usually just get the cheap ones. 
But so I'm excited to try these with that new um, Lush facial remover stuff. Okay, so of course with this trip, I re-upped my VIB Rouge through the end of next year. So I got a nail polish, which I actually like this Sephora X formula, and I have only have one other nail polish, so I'll have to give this a go. This will look really pretty with that new blue one I just got from Julep, so that'll be fun. Okay, so into the stuff. So I went there, of course, with my wish list, and the things that I went in thinking I wanted, of course, my mind got quickly changed as soon as I went over and the Dior lady was working there and I was looking at the lipsticks and there was a few things because like I said I'm on that journey hunt looking for the perfect nude lip so she tried on the Dior Jungle Brown lip liner on me which looks strikingly similar to the Max Spice lip liner so I did not buy that lip liner yet <laughs> And then we tried on two lipsticks. I had two in my hand, and I'm like, can we try these on? Because I really like these colors, but I want to see them on. So the first one she tried on me was called Grage. And I believe I've heard about this before, but I don't know. There's just something about this color once I got it on my lips, and I had to bring it home. It's, ugh, look at this. Look at this packaging. And it says Dior right here. Yeah, that's fancy. So... Besides the packaging being really fabulous and fancy and just amazing, she tried this on me, and I'm telling you, it was beautiful. So let me just give you a little swatch here of it. It's so creamy. It's like a pretty peachy nude. But do you see the shine on that? And that's what I like about it. And what formula is this? This is the Rouge Dior 169 Grage. This has a matching lip liner, but... Like I said, right now I just went for the lipsticks and I can always go back and get the lip liner. So that was the first one I tried on and it was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It was really pretty with the lip liner, but I didn't get the lip liner, so we're just going to wear it. I think you could probably wear that with Subculture too by MAC and that would look pretty. Or one of my um, It Cosmetics nude lip liners actually, now that you think about it, would look good. And then the other color that we tried on second and I was debating between both of these and um, Amy was like, oh, I really like the second one. I'm like, I really like them both for different reasons. They're both just classy colors that can go with a lot of things. They're both like in that nude category. But I really have been wanting to get the perfect fall colored lipstick. Fall is my favorite time of year and I just, I don't know, I needed another lipstick. Cause I really like lipstick, I've decided. Um, this is the Rouge Dior Nude 683 Esquisse. And this is what she looks like. Oh, it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. It reminds, it's like a pinky mauve nude. Oh, these are so creamy. And that is a squeeze right there. Just beautiful colors. You know, it's kind of like effortless colors. And I like that because sometimes I can't decide what lipstick I want to do. So then I just like to have colors I can just grab and I know they're going to look good and I know they're going to go with lots of things. So that was the first thing. But here's the best part. What she did when she was putting this on me. So she took her like what is it, like a liquid highlighting pen concealer type thing, and she put it all around the outside of my mouth, which I did today. But I did not buy that Dior one. I actually opted to buy the Bare Mineral Stroke of Light because I swatched this one next to the Dior one. The Dior one was slightly different, but about double the price point, so I opted to go for this. Um, and this is a product you can use underneath your eyes as well. This is the Luminous Bare Mineral Stroke of Light Eye Brightener. Looks like this. But she took this and she drew it all over the outside of my mouth. And then she lined my lips and then she put on the lipstick. My lips looked like perfect. Like I should be in a magazine or something. I don't know. I really liked it. So I'm like, I need to get that too because anything that's going to make me look really flawless. So that's what it looks like. It's very opaque. It's very creamy. It blends out really well. And I don't know. I like it. See how that just kind of brightens that whole thing up? Yeah, so and I got the shade Luminous 2, which was really similar to the one. They have one that's a little bit more pink, but I opted for the one that was more yellow. Okay, so that was my Sephora experience. Then, of course, we went to um, Nordstrom. And I wanted to go to the Chanel counter. I really had set my mind on the fact that I wanted to get another Chanel blush. And then I was talking to Amy and she's like, do you have this lipstick? And I'm like, no, I have like one lipstick from Chanel and that's it. And it's, it's not a color I wear all the time. And she's like, you need this lipstick. And it is called, it's a Rouge Coco Shine number 54 Boy. 
and Lizette's Beauty talked about this all the time and I finally, I finally own it. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. This is what it looks like in the tube. It's, I tried it on, it's like this really pinky nude color. And with the eye look I had been wearing that day, which was like a, I wore a lot of like nude type colors and this just was stunning. Now, this is not a long lasting lipstick, but it's one of those lipsticks that while it is on, your lips just look fabulous. Straight up fabulous. I don't know how else to describe it other than I looked fabulous. So, anything that I look in the mirror and I think, wow, I need. <laughs> it, it was a wow factor. Okay, then we headed on over to Ulta. And I promise this is the last thing. Yes, the last thing. I have no idea how long this video is, guys. I will find out when I edit it, but I'm sorry if it's 45 minutes. <laughs> okay, so I went over to Ulta, and um, she had wanted to pick up some Jane eyeshadows, and uh, I can't remember what else is she wanted to pick up, but I had in my mind a specific color. I had seen a girl on Instagram, I can't remember who it was, she did a look, and she was wearing a specific color in her lips. Then I got there and it was the only one left and it didn't have like the sealed packaging on it like these ones did and then I was like, oh man, I don't know if I should get that. So instead I found two other colors. This first one is so close to this new Sephora long matte luster wear thingy lip gloss thingies. Anyways, it's this color. It's called um, Copenhagen and it's a soft matte lip cream by NYX. I love these. These are long wearing, gorgeous. They're like this velvety consistency, and I don't know, it just reminds me of like a cross between Rebel and Diva from MAC, and so I needed it in my life, because I love those colors. And then I decided to get this color instead of the original color, which was called Milan. It was like a cooler baby pink type color. This one's called San, pa San Paolo. I don't know, I love this color. I just think like a pretty neutral eye and this really, and really pretty pink. And, you know, I'm into pinks, too, right now. So I got both of these lip, NYX MAC lip creams. And then I wanted to get the Lorac 2 palette, and they did not have it in stock at that Ulta. So on my way home, I stopped at my Ulta, and I picked up, yes, the Lorac 2 palette. I'm so stoked about this. Do you guys even need to see this? It comes with a primer. Um, yes, I will do a Get Ready With Me on this in September when I come back from my vacation. Definitely, hands down, will. Um, I actually might bring it on with me on my vacation so I can have some new shadows to play with, but you've seen it. It's beautiful. It truly is. And then, um, okay, the last thing I got there, right? No. <laughs> uh, I wanted to try this. I've seen this so many times, and actually I've seen on the Real Housewives of um, New York, their reunion, one of the ladies was saying this was like her holy grail leg product, especially for on camera. It's essentially like this makeup you put on your legs to get rid of like veining and bruises and all this stuff, but it's water resistant. So I thought that would be perfect for when I go home for date night and I have some other things going on. And if you really want your legs to look perfect, I'm going to try this. I got the shade Tan Glow for medium to tan skin tones. So fabulous. Can't wait to try that. And the last things. Okay, so... I wanted to get to this lipstick. It's a light, It Cosmetics Vitality Lip Blush 4-in-1 Reviver. And I wanted the shade Damsel. And both of the Ultas in Denver and both the Ultas down here in the Springs were completely sold out. So I, I knew my faithful and trusty QVC.com would have it. So I ordered the Duo off of QVC, which is a better value because these are $20 a piece. And both of these with shipping and tax and everything to my door were like $32. So it's a better deal. So I got Damsel and Je ne sais quoi. And so I've been wanting to try these, especially this color, because like I just said, I'm into nudes. And this is another really pretty nude. Let me swatch it for you. It's a stain though, and that's why I like it, because these are so buttery and creamy. Oh my gosh. And so when that fades on your lips, it stains them. So it's not like it just disappears, it leaves a stain. So that's Damsel. And it's just a little bit more brown or peach. Then, what was this that I swatched? One of the first lipsticks I got. Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> Anyways, one of the ones I swatched earlier. Okay, and then the other one I got is called Je ne sais quoi, and you have to say it like that. It looks clear, but it's like this pretty, it changes color on you, depending upon your like body chemistry, but it's supposed to change color to like a pinky color, and it is, it's slowly changing here. Just to like a flushed lip, 
just bitten type color. So awesome on that. And then what do we have left here? The last thing that I have to show you is, let me just make sure, okay, I have garbage and products and everything everywhere, is my sweet friend Alex. She sent me two lip products for my birthday and she is so sweet. Her name is Alex and her channel is Win Beauty Addict. I have collabed with her in the past and we chit chat all the time and so go on over and subscribe to her. You will thank me later. Um, anyways, she knows I'm a lip junkie. So the first thing that she sent me was the Too Faced Melted in the shade Ruby. These things are serious color, like no joke. I haven't even squeezed it yet because I saved the first reveal and swatch for you guys like so it squeezes up like that you know what you've heard me talk about these they are so opaque this is like a bright cherry fabulous red oh my word mm -mm, can't wait to wear it and then the other thing that she sent me was another dior fluid stick aren't these just fabulous like seriously actually my husband when i pulled this out he's like wow i'm like yeah these are fancy. They're fabulous. And when you twist them, they like, they're like, oh, I'll help you. You can't get that out. Oh, sure. We'll help you. <laughs> I was like, oh, they're just fabulous. They're very strange consistent. They feel like you're putting water on, seriously. But then they dry and they're just shiny and they're long lasting and they come in lots of colors. This color is called 689 Vertigo. And this was one of the ones she had got. And it's just this beautiful mid-tone pink right there. Oh, stunning. I love these. It will stay shiny like that. They are fabulous. The packaging is amazing. I definitely highly recommend trying one. They have lots of different shades to suit your fancy, whatever it is that you enjoy. Oh my goodness, guys. That was a lot of stuff. That was my birthday haulage slash things that I had purchased in the past, I don't know, two months. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you have a fabulous weekend and a fabulous next week. And you will be seeing my face, even though I'm not actually going to be here. And next Friday, we will be uh, filming in an undisclosed location. Not quite sure where that will literally be yet. Maybe outside, maybe at the lake, maybe in my old bedroom. We shall see. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to talk to you again soon. Bye.